Hey guys, I'm back with a long-awaited video. A lot of people have been requesting this, so here we go with an update. So I guess I'll show you my new 55-gallon tank that I bought. Pretty good price, only like $169, I think. Uh, so let's get started. As we can see, we have the filter up here, and it's kind of loud, so I'm just going to turn it down. Uh, it's a pretty good filter, though. It, since it came with the set that I bought it with, um, I don't think it's great. I think it's pretty good. Probably picking another one up just to help with the filtration. So over here on our left where the two turtles are just chilling, they're on some fake vines just for some decoration, and it helps them get up to the basking dock even though they don't need it. Then we have another one back there with the temperature gauge. Down there we have a fake, two fake plants actually. Uh, again, I'm going to probably be, probably be putting some like real plants in there. And then we have a piece of uh, Mopani wood. It's kind of cool because it's like it stays on the top of the water at first and then it sinks. And we have a piece of driftwood. I'll probably be rearranging that just to make it look a little nicer. I just, you know, wanted to give the tank a little bit uh, extra stuff in it just to make it, you know, look a little bit nicer because it was looking a little plain. And then we have the heater that came with the set along with the filter that I have running on low. And I got some new fish. Up there is the basking dock, like always. And there is the strip light. And then I have the basking light. It actually comes with another strip light. But I just don't have it on because I need the U my turtles need the UVB light. And there's the top fin 6.0 filter. So everything's looking good. I really like the tank. I think it looks really nice. It's actually really big. I can't imagine people who have like hundreds of gallons of tank. Uh, I've seen a couple guys that have like 125, 150. That I don't think that like you get the most out of when you watch the video. Like you really have to like see those because I think that this tank is huge. It, like it's really big. It can almost like fit like my wingspan, and I'm pretty big. So yeah. Um, so I guess I'll show you my. Um, I guess I'll show you where my old turtle tank was, my 20 gallon tank. Uh, before you know, I took the rocks out of there and I put it. In this tank so uh, it's an incubator now as you can probably see because my turtles had two eggs which is kind of exciting um, I was not expecting that they actually uh, had them about two weeks ago so what we're gonna do with the eggs I'm not sure I might sell them on the website I might keep them but once they hatch I'm gonna be putting in uh, putting them into my old 20 gallon so as you can see it's a little bit messed up right now because I just opened it but we have three eggs. Uh, I really like them. They're pretty cool. The incubator looks cool, and they're kind of fun to take care of. Uh, on the top, we have sphagnum peat moss, and then below that, we have vermiculite. The sphagnum uh, peat moss keeps the humidity in, and the vermiculite, I don't know what that's for. Just everyone uses it. So I guess I'd jump on the bandwagon and use it too. And then I have my turtle's food just to hold up the container since the container's broken and it won't fit. And the water's pretty dirty with the heater. It doesn't really matter if the water's dirty or not. The only thing that matters is the temperature and the humidity. And there's the hygrometer and the thermometer. Uh, the humidity should be 80 to 90, somewhere around there. And the hygrometer depends if you want a male or female turtle. I'll get, on, I'll get into the, all that later. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos to come in the future. Probably a how to set up. And then just I'll be keeping you guys updated about when the eggs hatch and what I'm going to do with them. So let's go ahead and shut that down. And if you were ever wondering um, where my tortoise was or just where the whole, how the room was set up, there it is. It's up there. So, yeah, that's pretty much my room set up. Uh, I actually don't sleep in this room. It's kind of just my aquatic room, I guess. So, a little look at the tank. Uh, again, I really think it looks really cool. I like it. Um, it's a lot bigger than my 20 gallon, as I said. But I forgot to show you the fish. So I will show you guys that now. Right there, I have two red-tailed sharks. Uh, they have an all-black body, kind of like an orange-reddish kind of uh, tail. And then we have three ball sharks. Those guys get really big, up to like six or eight inches or something like that. And then we have a silver, either silver-tipped or silver-finged shark. It's like an algae eater. And then my real algae eater, I have no clue where he is. He's probably hiding somewhere. Uh, if I see him, I'll try to point him out, which I don't. So, yeah, I have no clue where that guy is. He likes to hide. But there's the turtle. It's an unfortunate that he's not swimming around, but he's probably just getting used to the tank. So that's about all, guys, for this update. Uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff to fill you in on. Sorry it was uh, so overdue. 
but we will be making uh, more videos in the future. We have a lot more to come. Uh, again, I'll be keeping you guys updated on the incubator. But if you can, check out the website, www.reptilecapital.com. On the website, we have forums, care sheets, reviews. Uh, a lot of uh, our really good videos from YouTube go on the website. So make sure that you check that out. It's really nice. Matt did a really good job with the background and just how it looks. And then make sure to subscribe to our channel, Reptile Keptile, to make sure that when we post a new video, you are notified and you don't miss it. Because, yeah, you don't want to miss our videos because they're awesome. Just saying. Make sure to like the video because it gives us more motivation to make more. Even if we don't get a ton of likes, we're going to still make them. And let's turn the filter back on uh, just so we get that filtration going. So, yeah, that's about all, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to comment. We read them all. We try to reply to as many as we can. And, yeah, that's all for this, guys, uh, this video, guys. Make sure that you do all that stuff. Helps a lot. So, yeah, one last look at the turtles. And I will see you guys next video or next time. See ya.